really think that next year people are just gonna forget about this? Hell yeah. Uh, I should I should um, clarify one thing. When I say diss track, you diss your friends. That's what they're good for. So. Oh, okay. Set them okay. my way, Fiona. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah nah. no, next year, I think like, um, I mean, think about it. Like, how many good movies have you seen last year and you're not thinking about them a year later? Maybe you're thinking about it, but like, maybe you rewatch it like every once in a while. But I mean, that's about it. Like, it has this effect when it comes out and then it just becomes a nice memory after that. Well, I'll tell you this. And this is why I can disagree very, very, very um, justly, okay? <laughs> okay? Because um, the thing that you obviously took direct inspiration from, right? The, the source material, right? So, um, unfortunately, it doesn't have the same level of uh, TLC and, uh, you know, just overall, like passion and care right involved it's not there's not there's not that much um and what's been happening as of recently is a lot of different things you know we have the manga we have the movie and you would think like with the movie i mean look kai's yawning you know like <laughs> this is like th th this is um this is this is something that nothing else has been able to do and literally not even just distract us but to help us get through it <laughs> okay because right now there's a oh lot of it's 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 a circus dragon ball today is a circus there's a lot of this and that and he, uh, toriyama said this toriyama said that you know left and right and it makes for good discussions. We talk about them no matter how head-ass they are. We acknowledge basically everything, even in the comments, you know? From the people that say they don't believe to believe in constructive criticism, all the way to the folks that actually have something decent to say and to add, you know, to, to contribute to the conversations. And out of all of that, even for next year, with the anime returning, supposedly, I should oh, I say. Know that. Oh, well, there you go. Super is apparently returning in 2023. And if it yes. does, the thing is, we don't know exactly where they're starting. You know, like, there's the Broly movie, then there's the, uh, the Moro arc, and then there's the Granola arc that's pretty much wrapping up right now. And then there's a the superhero movie. So it's like, there's all mm -hmm. this content and we're still not at the end of Z, still, right? We're still not there yet. So they're just kind of just squeezing in anything that they can do, right? And and it's, it's just causing a lot of a lot of ruckus in the community. And then here you come, legend, the savior from heaven, the savior <laughs> from fucking heaven, right? Like you literally took the entirety. Of the fandom and you and you 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 did this you did this you literally embraced everybody you said come here my children it's okay <laughs> i was literally just gonna use that phrase come here my children <laughs> dude and this is real shit because and 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 and, and i'm and i'm not I, i'm i'm not saying this to gas it up and i'm not saying this to be like exaggerating because i see it you know, being being a YouTuber myself, a content creator myself, like, and just covering legend, like, just doing all the theory videos and just talking about it as often as I can, and then at the same time talking about all of the the main stuff. It's night and day. People are different. They react differently. They respond differently. When we talk about things that come out of the movie, it's all over the place. When we talk about things that come out of the manga it's all over the place and when i say all over the place i mean it's like there's head ass there's terrible takes there's some good ones you know there's some people that are like you know they, they have their head on straight when they you know they formulate their opinions and whatnot and then all every single person it's like virtually everybody under the reaction the breakdown i did all the theory videos everybody it's like a completely different community they're all like crime solvers. They're all like, 
<laughs> they're ready to go. Yeah, like, well, go ahead. I do have some thoughts about what you're saying. And I, I touched on this a bit with me and Ryan when we first met and we were just talking a bit. But um, uh, I don't necessarily see Dragon Ball as a circus or not performing well now. Just because um, the effect that you're talking about, like, and, and you're in that category too where you're saying, you know, there's something here that it's just, it's grabbing the entire community and just, just bringing them back together. You know what I mean? But what it's doing is it's grabbing a bunch of adults. Dragon Ball Z is for kids. We were kids when we liked it, right? Mm. And if we were adults, my, I'm sure my parents were like, what the hell are you watching? <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, I loved it. And if you look back at it, I mean, Kai did a, uh, a Dragon Ball Kai did a, a job of like editing out maybe like 150 episodes right. of stare downs and stuff like that. But, you know, I mean, it can be argued that the show was exactly how it was back then that it is now. It may, I think the art looked better back then because that was the prime time of like animation just looking its finest and mm. um we love the voice acting we love all that stuff right but um i think the effect that you're talking about that legend might have had is it's impressing adults instead of children so i think super in in every way is and like the movies and stuff i think it's doing exactly what toei has been able to do all this time it just it can't keep the attention of adults who grew up on that stuff right because it's a kid's show right so um but even that we still like it why do you think anyone got to the end of Dragon Ball Super? Because we needed to watch the rest of it, whether it was all good or maybe some of it was good. Right. And um, and that's why I appreciate when people, they really like Legend. And like, I mean, there are people reacting, there are people commenting, and you get lost in it some of it. But like most of it has a general air of, you reminded me of the 90s. But I think what they're really saying is you reminded me of myself when I was watching it in, in the 90s. <laughs> so... Uh, that's a good that's a good feeling to be told that because that was the intention that I had when I was trying to make it because the movie was for me I was trying to make it for myself and uh, Everyone else was able to enjoy it the way I spent time making it. So I'm glad that adults are uniting in their childish uh, uh, Appreciation of Dragon Ball Z because it's the coolest stuff, right? So <laughs> So in other words, you basically just in in layman's terms you gave us all a gift. You gave us a gift Yeah you gave us you I, gave I us guess the way to look at it. Yeah, like that's the I mean that's a great way to put it. That's a that's a great perspective too. Because that's like a that's kinda like a, a very nice dose of reality in and of itself, because that's like very true, you know, like we grew up watching it. We were definitely not this critical <laughs> when exactly. we were kids. You just want to enjoy it. It's the same thing with the people's art, like when you're a kid and you're you're like, I can't wait to draw. Oh, I have to do English. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll do. I, I can't wait to go draw, and then you're drawing, and there's no inhibition to what you're doing, right? No mm. one's checking your anatomy or your shape language or all this, all this stuff, right? And then when you, if you try pursuing that as a career, you get more serious about it. People are like, they get really honed in on what they're doing because they want some level of mastery or pro, a professionality to their worker, right? Right. But um, and they become so self-critical, so much so that they won't even show people their stuff. The good or the wow. bad drugs. Maybe they'll only show their good stuff. And uh, I think there's something in there where, you know, like this this sort of like detachment from worry and or anxiety, if you want to call it, like that kids have with their drawings uh, to like when you get older. Like I think something in that, like there's something in there that it's just palpable. Like when you watch things that you really enjoyed and you want to enjoy it again when you're an adult. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I... I don't know. There's. I'm not exactly sure what I want to say about that, but it's something I think about sometimes. Where maybe when we're talking about, oh, we're not so critical of things right now. Look what we're watching. We're criticizing, criticizing, criticizing. Like, but why? Like, you know, like, do do you want to see something nice? Like, a lot of times you get it, and but we want more out of it, more than what they're trying to deliver to us. You know? Yeah. I mean, like, what you're saying makes a hundred percent sense, right? I think the thing with us is. It's a lot more of the inconsistencies within the stories and some of the characters, right? Yeah. And in combination with that, it's a lot of like what's put out there from a lot of the fans online. And especially nowadays when, you know, cause back then there was no such thing as Twitter, or, you know, like <laughs> YouTube barely existed, right? Yeah. Or, you know, it didn't at a certain point, obviously. And like, we all naturally enjoyed it for what it was and for what it is. And even now we do, right? Because 
we can like you know i can turn i could turn my brain off when i watch something like <laughs> I can turn my brain off and watch something like superhero right the latest movie and i'll literally be like i like dragon ball still has the effect on me and, and and i don't have any problem to admit that because i am a fan and i love it right yeah same here and when you and when i love something i acknowledge it's good and it's bad right that's just how i am right so when it gets me it gets me right just like how you you got to see how hype I was for your creation. Now, so when I'm over here watching superhero with brother Ooch and our our friend Nick, and certain things happened and certain transformations came out, I was jumping up and down. I was out of the freaking couch. I was like in his face, like oh look 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 look. Like I was I was it, it, you know like it makes it makes you feel like a kid. Exactly that, right? Yeah. But then. When you think about it at the end of the day and you're just like, damn it. Why is it like, <laughs> why are yeah. things the way that they are? So I think what you're coming at is from an angle where it's not just entertainment. You want it to be a whole package. It can't just be something visually nice. It can't just be something that sounds nice. Like you need the rest of it. And I mean, maybe there are plot holes. I mean, maybe, maybe you can equate that to sometimes like poorly written things or poorly formulated scripts or whatever. But um, I think you want the whole package is what it is. Um, but at least when we get those doses, it's really nice, right? Like absolutely. Yeah, you know. Dragon Ball Z Super Broly was one of the best things I ever seen when it came out. <laughs> Damn. Music to my ears, right there. Amen. Remember to Broly, of course. So, so for me, me, for me personally, and I feel like I can definitely speak for the Uch brothers as well. But I, I know for a sure for me personally, obviously, the way I feel about your your baby, your masterpiece that it is, Legend, right? initially i did not have the same reaction that ooch did because ooch literally called me popping off telling me how my life was about to change and i wasn't ready <laughs> and i really wasn't ready so <laughs> so, so true <laughs> so this, th that was that was crazy right and i watched it and i was like i was getting hype like like my hairs were standing up and everything i was like oh like this is this is getting me like you know like waku waku like <laughs> i can't forget that so, right so, so i was getting hype but then i was I was just like, damn, this is this is one of those 10 out of 10 masterpiece creations and look how long it took to make. Like look how much like love and care and like thought was put into every little detail, every frame, the storyline, like all of it. It is indeed the whole package. Mm. And we haven't been delivered a whole package. We've been getting little parts. This we've been getting little DLC pieces here and there. <laughs> yeah. We've been getting little strips of stories. You know, <laughs> we have not gotten a whole package in a very, very long time. So, I, like, I feel like this is one of those. For, for me personally, it was one of those things where. I didn't go off on it because I'm exactly like Ooch. I will go crazy. I will pop off out of my chair. I will never forget about it. I'll be watching it a hundred times a day, talking about what if this, what if that, where's Frieza, where's him, and I will just lose my mind. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. At least I thought I couldn't until I watched Legend like a hundred times, and I was like, okay, now I can do this. Now I'm ready. So because, <laughs> because and he, he didn't could, admit it to me. He just he just came. I quit. <laughs> it, got, it, it happened. It was it was the after Frieza for me. That that really got me. That Which really got me I don't. I up. can't understand how Ryan got that. Dude, that, like, that there's got, no reason he should have got it. <laughs> bro, that's way too blurry. That sent me. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>